A man was polishing his new car. His four years old daughter picked up a stone and scratched on the side of the car. In anger, the furious man took his child's hand, hit it many times, not realizing he was using a wrench. At the hospital, the child lost all his fingers due to multiple fractures. When the child saw her father with painful eyes, he asked, Dad, when will my fingers grow back? The man was so hurt and speechless. He went back to the car and kicked it many times. Devastated by his own actions, sitting in front of the car, he looked at the scratches. His daughter had written, Love you, Dad. Moral. Remember, anger and love have no limit. Always remember that things are to be used and people are to be loved. But the problem in today's world is that people are being used, things are being loved. Elderly woman got on a bus and sat down. At the next stop, a strong, grumpy young lady climbed up and sat down beside the old woman, hitting her with her numerous bags. When she saw that the elderly woman remained silent, the young woman asked her why she had not complained when she hit her with her bags. The elderly woman replied with a smile, There is no need to be rude or discuss something so insignificant as our journey together is so short because I am going to get off at the next stop. This answer deserves to be written in gold letters. There is no need to discuss something so insignificant because our journey together is too short. Each of us must understand that our time in this world is so short that darkening it with useless arguments, jealousy not forgiving others, discontentment and bad attitudes are a ridiculous waste of time and energy. Did someone break your heart? Stay calm. The trip is too short. Did someone betray, intimidate, cheat or humiliate you? Relax, don't stress, the trip is too short. Did someone insult you without reason? Shake it off, ignore it, the trip is too short. Did a neighbor make a comment that you didn't like? Take a deep breath, ignore him, her forgive and forget it, the trip is too short. Whatever problem someone has brought us, remember that our journey together is too short. No one knows the length of our trip. Nobody knows when it will arrive at its stop. Our trip together is short. A very poor man lived with his wife. One day his wife, who had very long hair, asked him to buy her a comb. The man felt very sorry and said, no. He explained that he did not even have enough money to fix the strap of his watch he had just broken. Wife did not insist on her request. The man went to work and passed by a watch shop, sold his damaged watch and bought a comb for his wife. When he came back to home, he was surprised when he saw his wife with a very short haircut. She had sold her hair and was holding a new watch. Tears flowed from their eyes, not for the futility of their actions, but for the reciprocity of their love. Morale. To love is nothing. To be loved is something. But to love and to be loved by the one you love is everything. So always value the companionship of those you hold dear and consistently devote yourself to their care and happiness. A wise man once faced a group of people who were complaining about the same issues over and over again. One day, instead of listening to the complaints, he told them a joke and everyone cracked up laughing. Then the man repeated the joke. A few people smiled. Finally, the man repeated the joke a third time, but no one reacted. The man smiled and said, You won't laugh at the same joke more than once, so what are you getting from continuing to complain about the same problem? The moral lesson. You're not going to get anywhere if you keep complaining about the same problem, but do nothing to fix it. Don't waste your time complaining, expecting other people to continue to react to your complaints. Instead, take action to make a change. A man stopped at a flower shop to order some flowers to be wired to his mother who lived 200 miles away. As he got out of his car, he noticed a young girl sitting on the curb, sobbing. He asked her what was wrong and she replied, I wanted to buy a red rose for my mother, but I only have 75 cents and a rose costs $2. The man smiled and said, Come on in with me. I'll buy you a rose. He bought the little girl her rose and ordered his own mother's flowers. As they were leaving, he offered the girl a ride home. She said, Yes, please, you can take me to my mother. 
She directed him to a cemetery where she placed the rose on a freshly dug grave. The man returned to the flower shop, canceled the delivery order, picked up a bouquet and drove the 200 miles to his mother's house. Life is short. Spend as much time as you can loving and caring for people who love you. Enjoy each moment with them before it's too late. There is nothing important than family. If you find value in this story, please like, share, and comment below. Stay blessed.